Vancouver is entering a heat wave. Help me. <laughs> it's currently 30 degrees in this room, but that's because I've had the AC running for at least six hours now. I had to shut it off for this clip. At the front of the house, it's 32, and usually it's hotter in here than out there. So without this bad boy, it probably would have been like... 34 or 35 in this room. <laughs> and there are some even hotter temps coming later this week, yay. I'm probably just gonna let my hair air dry like this a lot because there's no point in styling it when it gets all gross. Like I can already see nastiness in my bangs. I'm like, is that sweat? Is it grease? Probably a bit of both. This is the one thing that makes me miss the basement art room <laughs> is the heat. <laughs> At a nice chill weekend, I slept a lot. Uh, on Saturday, I went to a park to hang out with friends. Uh, yesterday I did all my meal prep and whatnot. I'll insert a clip of what I made. There is a pesto and mozzarella chicken with a side of mashed potatoes and some veggies. And then there is a breakfast scramble, just like breakfast skillet, whatever you call it. There's many names for it. <laughs> just a bunch of breakfast food combined into one. I had the breakfast one today and it was very, very delicious. Oh, and we watched Luca yesterday, which was really nice. Very cute movie. And now I have to clean this room because it's in a really bad state. <laughs> it gets messy so quickly. I mean, well, it's been like two weeks since I did that really thorough clean, so I guess it's been longer than I thought. Time flies. Ugh. Okay, let me give you the overview of this nasty room. You walk in, this is what you get. <laughs> It's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I need to stop storing the pins in here. Just like bring in the bins on the days I'm doing the pin grading. Essentially, especially since I've slowed down a bit on the pins, like keep them in the next room. That doesn't need to be here at all. I can bring this downstairs. Yeah, there's just a lot that needs to be put away and what have you. You nasty. You nasty, nasty. Okay. <laughs> I got some new push pins because <laughs> I kind of want to redo this. When I first was pinning it up, remember I was saying like, oh, I don't know if I like how much it's curling, but I thought, oh, okay, kind of some charm to it. But the other day, Kiki kept knocking this forward and it fully face planted at one point and like it bent a lot of these and it just made me not like how not durable they are. Plus one of the reasons I didn't want to switch over to cardstock is that I didn't think these pins could push through the cardstock because they're so flimsy, but I got some new pins. They're push pins with a little round tip, kind of like the ones you use for a map. I just like that they were gold because that's one thing I liked about these safety pins is they're gold. So yeah, I might redo this whole thing. <laughs> Based on my schedule, I'm going to try to do that Wednesday unless I change my mind and decide to do it now. But today I was going to paint my nails after I'm done cleaning because they're just getting so bad. Look at them. <laughs> But I'm also like, oh, what if I wait till the weekend? <laughs> anyway, let's start cleaning. Oh goodness, baby's flopping on the floor. Is it really hot? It's nice and cool downstairs. Well, the last night I was already getting sweaty downstairs and I was like, no, the basement's supposed to be my refuge. So one problem I have is that I had a bunch of stuff on those shelves, but since I took the shelves down, I'm like, where do I put this stuff? I think some of it has to come out of the art room and get a new home. So gotta figure that out. Stuff like this, which is missing half its foliage. These, uh, this was up there. There's a lot of stuff. My sponge wrap paint brushes, they have to stay in here. I'll probably find a spot for them on the rolly cart or something. The paint kept. I was fine earlier when I was sitting in front of the AC unit, but now that I'm up and moving around, I need this thing. <laughs> Did I move this from that side of the room to this side and now I'm stuck having to deal with it again? Yes. Okay, here we go. May not be the cleanest it's been, but there's only so much I can do with the AC unit being in the spot where these drawers usually go. And I left out some stuff to work on my artwork tomorrow, like I'll need the pencils. I have the colors I was using still laid out. 
I'll need the laptop to read chat, I need the camera, whatever. This towel is for wrapping around an ice pack, which I'll then put on my camera to keep it cool. Oh, uh, yeah, here's this area now. Mm-hmm. I did sweep the floor, even though there's still some stuff left behind. <laughs> but, yep, tied it up. I'm happy. Got a few things left on here, but yeah. My lights that are all falling. Oh my god, there's another one that's fallen now. I wonder if the humidity is making it even worse. Literally every single one in this, <gasps> all four are fallen. My little lights. <sighs> Need some better adhesive. <laughs> the second one on this one's fallen too. Grant. <laughs> None of them have fallen in this one though, which is nice. There's a couple sideways ones, but that's on purpose just to link the rows together. <laughs> What do you think, Kiki? Oh, so clean. Alrighty, it is the next morning. Last night I did not paint my nails, but you know what I did do? I was working on my shop, my online shop. I was researching various templates because I want to update to something with, a, with more features because I was just using the, like one of the default free Shopify themes. So I was researching a bunch of paid ones and even did a trial of one where I was just like seeing how it would apply to my website. Then I decided to pull the trigger and actually buy it. And then I had to like redo some of those changes cause it doesn't transfer over and like just got to work rebuilding it. I'm not done, but I was just so sucked into that. I didn't stop till 1.30. And the only reason I stopped is because my laptop was dying and the charger was upstairs and I was like, Okay, yeah, the laptop dying is a sign. I need to stop and go to bed. <laughs> so yeah, that was good. Got some stuff done. And then so far this morning, I've just been working on just like some Twitch updates, like updating the schedule graphics and whatnot, making a to-do list of things I want to do. I was sprucing up my Discord server, deleting some old channels I don't need anymore, adding some new ones and yeah, that kind of stuff. Just general upkeep and maintenance. And soon I'm going to head to Chit Chats. There are some returns to pick up, potentially four, but for sure at least one. Some of them are supposed to be disposed already, but they're not marked as disposed. So I'm like, maybe they still have them. So yeah, I don't get that many returns back. Usually stuff just gets lost, but I'm curious to see what is there. I also have one thing to drop off. So yeah, I just can't leave quite yet because they don't open till 11 quarter after 10 currently. Oh goodness, who's that cutie patootie over there? I'm trying to dress for the weather today. Hair up, wearing a dress, nice and breezy. Gotta make a coffee for the road. My handy dandy little bear, bear spoon that I used to scoop out the coffee grinds from the day before. Nice cube, so I can drink it right away. Okay, I had a few minutes to kill, so I just put some stuff here. Stuff that was on that shelf by the window. Just so the corners are a little decorated. I had a flower thing down there, like those pink flowers, but it was really low, so I have it raised up now. And yeah, it's cute. Cute! So I was carrying a bunch of stuff to my car and <laughs> I set my coffee on the roof of my car and I'm like, don't forget it. <laughs> and then I'm backing out of my parking stall and this guy's pointing to my roof. I'm like, oh my God, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Almost drove off with it on the roof. I mean, I did start to, but thankfully that guy alerted me. <laughs> <sighs> rolling up to chit chats now it's 1104 so they are open okay I've got three returns here I realized before leaving the house that one's still in transit so there's not four there's three so yes okay no, head back home. So for today, I'm attempting to run my AC unit from the door 
of my room. The problem is I can't vent it out a window. That circular vent in the back spits out warm air. But I just want to see if this will work better for the desk streams because otherwise the AC unit's right next to the desk and it's so loud in the mic. So this will just be like a quieter hum and hopefully it still cools off this room. All right. I can't close the door though. Yesterday I had the door mostly closed. That's about as far as I can stretch it. So I could go like that, maybe, but <laughs> that's it. So it's gonna be harder to trap the cold air in here, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, coloring time. Well, I've been coloring for a little bit, but <laughs> this is the first year seeing it in the vlog. <laughs> just trying to add like some grass detailing here. The flowers just sort of blend into the background, so. You know, I'm not showing exactly where the stems combine with the grass. It's just, yeah, yeah. Don't know if I'm getting too crazy with the grass, though. I don't even know if I want to go in and kind of spruce up the outlines of the flowers. I might leave them really faint like that. And that way the shoes will stand out a bit more too. is finished i really like how it turned out i love the vibe of it just love it in general and after that i worked on some emote updates for my twitch channel because they all still had pink hair bailey and so i had to change them to be brown hair and i added little flowers in the hair too and then for the real life pictures of me i already had brown hair versions because that's what it was before the pink hair like those emotes existed before my hair was ever pink so i could just switch back to using the old ones. I switched some other things around too, like my concha moat. Um, like I have a magic eight ball kind of thing with my bot where you can ask it a question and it'll answer. And it's asking the magic conch. And so the bot uses the concha moat, but people don't really use it in chat other than that. So in order to get a new emote slot, I bumped conch to tier three because they're tiers to subscribing, kind of like Patreon sort of thing. So I bumped it up to a higher tier because no one really uses it. And now I have room for some new ones. I also updated the channel points icon, my Bay Bucks. It's just like a fake currency you can use for fun in streams and you accumulate it by just being present in streams. I kind of wanted to keep the pink, but then have gold in it, but it just blended in a little too much. So I'll switch it to green. I think that was mostly it. I didn't end up creating any new emotes, just tweaked existing ones, but I do want to make some new ones. Oh, and then there was like the Bay Poo emote call it that because it's from the poo animation from my switch customization video <laughs> twitch now lets you do animated emotes and so i just applied one of their default animations to that one the shake because that, that's so perfect because that's kind of what it was like in the original animation too and it just it just suits that emote so well so that one's there i still have to make some other animated ones i have lots of ideas um and i have two empty slots i think yeah, i think two for just regular static emotes. So <clears throat> there's a lot of work left to do for that, but I'm really happy with what I got done yesterday because I've been putting off those emotes for so long. So yeah. And now I'm streaming again today. It's a game day and I'm thinking of starting off with some Dark Souls 2 then switching to Fall Guys because those are really the only two games I've been playing lately. Um, yeah, that's the plan. And I'm wearing my little 
hair headband thing. It finally matches my hair color. Well, I guess my hair finally matches the headband. My hair's almost getting too light for it, actually. Probably could have been wearing this for a while, but I forgot about it. Just my ends are really light because I had that blonde balayage before I did the brown. So that's why it's fading like that. I was wondering if I should re-dye it again soon just because it's kind of looking ratty, especially because it gets lighter on the ends. It just makes it look like extra damaged, especially when I let it air dry like this. And then someone in chat suggested doing a gloss treatment to spruce it up. And I was like, oh, that's, that's a good idea. That's what I want to do. Just do a gloss treatment. Yeesh. Oh my God, the stream starts like now. Oh my God, it's 10.59. <laughs> Dude. Okay, the reprint is happening. Why is it so crooked? I don't know. But the reprint is happening for the the inspo board. I'm basically completely redoing it. <laughs> It'll be worth it though. It's gonna be like a long-term installation or whatever. Plus it doesn't take that long to do, like. Now, I have this multi-pack because for the price I was getting way more of the gold ones, which is what I really want. <laughs> These rose gold ones will be okay too, I think. These ones I'm probably gonna avoid, but I can use them for other pin stuff in the future. But these two will definitely be enough for the pin board. I mean, you've already saw me do this. I don't know how much of it I need to film. <laughs> I think the inspo board's been a success so far since I really like the shoe art. <laughs> and it was thanks to the board that I did that. I think this time too, I'm gonna pin them randomly on the board. <laughs> like last time I pinned them all together because I wanted to fill the space nicely. But now I'm like, you know what? I don't know when I'm gonna pin something next. So let's space them out somewhat evenly. And then I can slowly fill the gaps and move things around. And I did decide to do them the same size. I was debating whether or not to print them bigger <laughs> to cover more space, but no, no. I'd rather leave room so I can pin many more things, including small printouts of my own art that I feel like successfully achieved the vibe I want. Like I definitely got to put Mr. Bun Bun there, even though it's an old one. It's always been one of my faves. Well, hi, Christian. All right, new images acquired. Well, the same images, but in a new way. Whoa, cardstock. Whoa, isn't that crazy? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't know what I expected to happen. No wonder the kitties always knock stuff on the floor. They learn from their mummy. Okay, there's the new board. I'm liking it a lot more. The difference is it'll just take a little bit of rearranging anytime I pin something new on there, but I love it. I kind of want to stick on my two new enamel pins too, the Daisy Girl and Mushroom Girl. I'm missing the piece of greenery from this corner because the one time Kiki knocked it over, it fell off and she stole it and started running away with it and it had two push pins in it and I confiscated it and I forget where I put it. So, gotta find that, but that's the new start to the pin board. <laughs> okay, it is now Thursday. I'm doing some store prep stuff. I thought, why not do more of the stamping? Cause I'm just in the mood to do that, I guess. It was either that or pin prep. And I'm in the mood for the stamping. Same deal as last time, just doing the two stamp method, just quickly 
getting through as many bags as I can. Prioritizing speed over accuracy and whatever. Got my hair up in a little side bun thing today. Hmm. Although my hair, like I already did stamped a few sleeves and I'm like, this hair is maybe not the best choice because I'm leaning, I'm standing up and leaning forward and it's in my face. And so might have to tuck it behind the ears, even though I think this looks cute. It's not too warm yet, so I'm doing a regular hot coffee. But then for my second one, I think I'm gonna do an iced coffee. I might wanna try opening this a little bit. Got the screen in, but not the full AC today. I'm gonna open this up a little bit though. I need the air to be able to get in here. But there's this huge van parked right there. Right there. And the sun is reflecting off his windshield right into my face. So I need this at least partially closed. Got the Vornado, which needs a cleaning. Look at that, it's nasty. What all those dust particles at me, gross. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll try Vornado mixed with window. Although I'm scared to increase the fan strength because this is already blowing, look at it. <laughs> I don't want the fan to blow away all my paper sleeves. Be civilized. I always love coming to Bailey's streams because I feel accepting, able to talk about everything and anything. Oh yeah, we get on to some weird conversations. <laughs> hey rat, haven't been able to come to streams lately. Sadly, been packing and cleaning my apartment. Last night we talked about books and love triangles, yeah. <laughs> among many other things. Chat goes chaotic, everything burns, in the distance, sirens. So as I explained in the last stamping video, I've got it separated into two because the stamps are different thicknesses, even though they were part of the same set technically. So I have to stamp two separate blocks, but there's one on this block that is consistently faded. It's this one right here. Like this is considered a good stamp for that leaf, even though it's really, really faded. So I'm going to try to transfer it to the other block, but I have to wait till I'm through these because these are already half stamped from last time I was working on these. So I need to fill the gap with this stamp and then I can do the transfer and we'll see if that works better. So it doesn't show up at all on the other stamp block. It's supposed to be right here. <laughs> so these were the thicker stamps. I couldn't remember which one was thicker, which was thinner. These are the thicker ones. So this bubbly guy I put right there can't even see it <laughs> so we'll have to go back on the other stamp block and just it'll be a little see-through sometimes it'll just be a little half it'll just be half there is all <laughs> try to position it Stamps really well into this notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Bailey's Bevies. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make an iced coffee. Just kidding, you don't really need a tutorial for this. We need lots of ice because the coffee's hot. Now I made the coffee directly into a different cup because I was already using this cup earlier and I just don't know how much I need and I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just did it that way, okay. Ooh. It's dripping. I got a towel down. Yep. Then I'm gonna add some hazelnut creamer. And then I'm gonna add this chocolate milk mix. It's the same stuff I use for hot chocolate because it says on it you can have it hot or cold. So, oh, kinda getting low on it. Yeah. It's a little chunky. Let's do like one, one big spoonful. Now, <laughs> most of the ice melted. Let's see if we can fit a couple more in there. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yep, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Maybe once I drink it down, I'll put a couple more ice cubes in. 
So we were getting to the point where I had to press really hard for the stamps and I thought I would add some ink to the pad. Now I don't have the same ink that came with this, but I thought I would just use some of the inks I have at home. And so you can see splotches here. So it is splotches of yellow and then a teal color. I didn't have green, but I was like, well, together these kind of make green, but it'd be, it would look cool if they were in splotches. And it did look cool. This is just one of the two stamps stamped onto the paper. Here's one that's a little more faded looking, but with both. Do have a nicer one over here, maybe? I don't know, but it looks, like, it looks really cool, huh? But the problem was it's removing these stamps from the acrylic block because it is a stickier ink. And with this one, it wasn't so bad, I think, because they're skinnier leaves. But this one has much thicker areas. Like, it's, it's got more surface area to it, so it sticks to this more. So it was, like, ripping off... Oh, my God. <laughs> they know I'm vlogging, so they're doing this. <laughs> um, it's peeling these up, and then I was like, maybe I'll glue them down. Then I let the glue dry while I was eating my late lunch. But it's not actually, it doesn't stick to the acrylic very well, so here's what I can do. I can continue this method, but just like super glue these down. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd be able to remove them ever if that's the case, but that's one option. And the other option would be just, you know, buy a new thing of ink and only refill it with the proper inks. But I just like love the two color look, like look, oi. Oh, so beautiful. But, yeah. So now I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, I don't have any super glue. Like, I don't have E6000 or anything. I really should have bought some of that when I went to Michael's and Canadian Tire. Like, that was my chance to buy more, and I didn't. I tried finding some at Walmart. I remember one time I went there, but they didn't have any E6000. But wait, but I bought Gorilla Glue. Wait, wait, wait. Although that might be a little too permanent. So yeah, now I'm at the point where I'm kind of stuck, and I guess unless I use that really glue but I'm like do I just call it quits for the day I mean I, I got a decent amount done it's like 4 30 right now but I was gonna do this until six o'clock so I believe it was Sarah in chat who suggested maybe try printer ink with the ink pad so I'm like yeah let's try that so I went to go rinse out the ink pad only to realize the ink I had added was starting to solidify it was extremely like it just felt solid I couldn't even squish the ink pad down anymore but I was still trying to clean it in the sink and I'm going to insert a clip from the vlogs because my hands were so filthy I could not pick up the vlog camera <laughs> without staining it so I'll insert a little clip you guys the ink pad has like solidified like it's toast we can't just rinse it out and put different ink in there and there's also like the ink is sticking to my fingers like there's chunks of goop it's like super glue i can't get it off like i don't even know what to do i've been trying to wash my hands and i cannot get this off <laughs> it's like it's not just like ink staining my skin like it's like it's glue nail polish remover alcohol wipes i have rubbing alcohol here i'll try both I can like peel off some of the nasties. There's like hair in it too now. But then it just sticks to my other finger. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! The rubbing alcohol worked. For, I mean, my hands are a little stained, but like it got the bulk of that crap off, which is nice. <laughs> the reason I didn't get the re-inkers that are made for it, I was looking at some online and it was gonna take a whole month to get here or more. So I thought, no, I'm not gonna do that. But now I'm thinking, I was just at Michael's recently. I could have looked for ink stuff when I was there. <laughs> not only the glues, but the inks. I need, a, I need a list. Next time I go to Michael's, get this, 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 and this. So, although it would be really nice if I could refill with those printer inks, because they're not very expensive. Those big refill bottles I get, and there's just so much ink. I could even just get like a blank ink pad and then add the colors or something I don't know just because you never know how two inks are gonna react with each other so if it was a blank pad it'd probably be the safest but 
yeah i don't know i just wanted to try this that was actually my fear with adding my existing inks in there is that it would get hard so i was trying to avoid like the acrylic based inks and stuff like that <laughs> i mean i don't even know what this one like the the dr ph martins are labeled as india inks and so i don't actually know what's in them but <laughs> i gave it a shot it worked at first until it started to solidify and i was spritzing the ink pad too i have a little misty spray bottle i was misting the pad just to make sure it wouldn't harden but it did very quickly so. but that's okay i'm so glad i tried it i was just itching to do that because the ink pad was getting dry so i guess i can continue this in the future if i buy more stuff for it or i can just say you know what they're staying plain brown Although I have some that are half stamped. These ones only have the first stamp on them and not the second. I'll probably end up buying something. Maybe. I don't know. It's an excuse for a Michael's trip! My little bun is like not even a bun anymore. It's just a pony. I think it was Sarah who came up with, I looked up from my iPad, I didn't do anything. Oh, I thought you mentioned the printer ink thing. Oh, maybe not. I was trying to give you credit. Turns out there's someone else who's going without credit now. I googled when you questioned, but wasn't my idea. Okay. Well, either way, who's ever, whoever's idea that was, I thought it sounded like a good idea. <laughs> but we never got to try it out, so. Well, I think that, that concludes the stamping for the day. <laughs> There's still an hour left in the stream. I could do a little bit of fall, guys. But we all know that would turn into more than one hour, and I still gotta edit the vlog. Bailey really going through all this effort for this sleeve that will go in the trash. <laughs> you know... Fall guys, vlog schmog, pin, pin grading. I mean, I don't want to drag out all the pin gradings. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much stuff. I just don't want to make a mess of things for one hour of pin grading. <laughs> Please, fall guys. It would be so rude of me to not give the people what they want, right? Enablers, you're all enablers. <laughs> I think they're the ones who are addicted. They're addicted to watching me play fall guys, right? 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 Maybe it's a bit of everything. You're a Fall Guys dealer. We admit nothing. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't want to get too far away from this blue section down here. Oh, okay. I was gonna double back for those yellows. Oop, okay. <laughs> I was thinking, okay, how am I gonna cut them off? First show of the day, people! Whoa, that just didn't hurt. I was gonna say, there's so many of us on here. Coming for you next, Santa. Prepare to die. To himself. <laughs> Thirty two point eight degrees in this room. Ugh. Well, squeeze in just a little bit of fall, guys. It was less than two hours. Got a couple wins in there, so that's good. I'm at a hundred and ninety eight. Just two away from two hundred. It took me a long time to get to 100, but I went from 100 to 200 pretty quickly, so... Here's to 1,000. <gasps> Maybe. I just want to hit four digits. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm just trying to get some supper here. I'm kicking being all squirmy, trying to get attention. <laughs> just take my pants off. It's getting too warm, KK.
Me wondering if my butt is being reflected in the doll case. <laughs> I'm editing this vlog now, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>